Hi guys and welcome to 123MyIT's video on how to upgrade your iPhone to iOS 7. Ok guys, so uh, I think it's about time for me to uh, try and upgrade my iPhone here. So if we have a look at the version of my iPhone or the iOS I'm running currently is uh, 6.1 with the firmware is 10B142 and uh, now I've, I've actually jailbroken this phone and uh, you might say well why don't you just go into the software update part of the phone and, and run an update there I believe because I have jailbroken the phone all I ever get is this checking for updates uh, updates on the phone but it actually never seems to come through so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, an update a different way um, I have plugged it uh, into the USB slot on my PC and it then comes up on the uh, machine here uh, on my PC here download and update or download only so uh, what we need to do first if we just go cancel on that go into your phone and make sure that you run a backup on your phone okay so you can see uh, backup automatically to this computer and the latest backup here was at today at uh, for 4.52 so it's just done a backup right now alright so that is done so what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug my phone again plug it back in again and see whether we get that prompt now the other thing I just want to say too before I uh, start this update is um, I actually tried to do uh, a, an update with this before and it failed now I don't know whether that was because I needed to update my iTunes so you have to make sure that you have the latest version of iTunes uh, to, to complete the update um, alright so we'll go ahead now and click on download and update okay and now it says there are per items purchased da, da, da. there are items purchased on your phone that have not been transferred to your iTunes library you should transfer these items so we'll just go continue alright iOS 7.0.2 and then we've just got the next button down the bottom there leave that across so you guys can see it and we've got the terms and conditions alright so now what it's going to do up the top here you can see that it's downloading the uh, iPhone firmware it gets that firmware from the Apple servers okay once it has it on the machine here then it will go ahead and it will uh, it will actually start to um, up update the firmware uh, so hopefully we've done our backup and we don't miss any settings we surely shouldn't miss anything um, but there has been an issue uh, whereby people that have lost contacts when they've updated their iOS updated to iOS 7 so uh, just be aware of that one um, so we'll, we'll let that run this I'll actually stop the video for the time being because this will take a little while and we'll come back to it when it gets a bit closer to the uh, to being finished downloading extracting the software now backing up 123MyIT's phone preparing the iPhone for a software update ok there it goes it's turned itself off now waiting for iPhone ok it's got a little thin line down the bottom there now guys obviously once you do an upgrade here it's uh, very difficult to, to downgrade the phone um, which is probably one of the reasons why I have taken so long to upgrade my old phone um, ok so now here it says here the phone 123 MyIT's iPhone could not be updated an unknown error occurred in bracket 6 and then we can hit more information or OK OK so we've just uh, we've just downloaded the iPhone firmware from the 123 MyIT website I'll just show you that real quick so if you go to the 123 MyIT website and go to f iPhone and then under iPhone you'll have iPhone firmware click on that and it brings you to this page and what I've done is I've scrolled all the way to the bottom clicked on the iPhone firmware that I want to download and install on my phone and that is 7.0.2 and then my model of iPhone is iPhone 4S so what I needed to click on this one here iPhone 4 comma 1 
uh, firmware version is 11A501 so I downloaded that went into my iTunes held down my shift key and then I was able to uh, select restore and then I was able to uh, select the iPhone firmware that I downloaded so let's have a look here Okay, and then it downloaded the downloaded the firmware, and then I was able to restore the firmware to the phone. Okay, and now I'm setting my phone back up uh, as it was previously, so I'm restoring it from an earlier backup. Okay, it says restore in progress, and what I also had to do was go in and turn off my antivirus for about 15 minutes maybe the antivirus was causing some issues there now the two options there were set up set up iPhone as a new iPhone or restore this from restore from backup and I've selected restore from backup and then I selected 123 my IT's iPhone and now as you can see it says restore in progress so it's hopefully putting on all my contacts um, all my uh, music and everything restoring it all back to the iPhone Okay, about five seconds remaining. Okay, settings for your iPhone have been restored. Please leave your iPhone connected and it will appear in the iTunes window after it restarts. Okay, and it's got the, if you can see that there, it's still got the little slider bar moving across. Alright, and you can see in iTunes there now it's got 123MyT's iPhone and iOS 7.0.2. Okay, so let's just go through the setup. So update completed, hit continue, enable location services. Uh, what's this? Da -da -da. Uh, Apple ID sign in. We will just go uh, skip this step. Yep, let's just skip it again. create a passcode, so I'm just going to set that up real quick and there it says now welcome to iPhone get started hit get started and there you go so we're able to um, we're able to upgrade that one now I just want to show you real quick guys because I'm not sure whether the video was recording before but how did I get to this stage so I couldn't get the iPhone to upgrade via the settings uh, menu so if you go into settings and then general and then software update I actually couldn't get this part to uh, display an update screen and I believe that's because it was jailbroken so what I needed to do was I needed to actually go into go in and download the IPSW file or the iOS uh, up, uh, firmware file and copy it to the to my PC and then hit restore so I'm going to just show you real quick how I did that if you open up a web browser and go to the 123 my IT website okay it will bring up this page if you click on iPhone or highlight iPhone and then go down to iPhone firmware all right then scroll down to the uh, latest iPhone firmware that you want to upgrade to uh, click on 7.0.2 but click on for the for your model so in this case it was a, my model here is a 4s so I downloaded that so when I click on it if you down if you try to download this with Internet Explorer you'll get a, a message here you want to go save as okay and then make sure where it says zip file you change that to IPSW okay now the reason you change that to IPSW is because if you download as a zip file Windows will recognize it as a zip file and you won't be able to install it uh, you restore your iPhone okay um, if if you can't work out how to change the end of that what you can do is you can use Google Chrome uh, or Firefox as your browser and if you download through them they already recognize the IPSW and they put it in the correct format so you can use those 
Okay, I'm just I'm going to say uh, no. I don't want to replace it because I've already downloaded it. So then, once you can minimise your browser screen, then you should have your IPSW file. So that's it there. It looks like a little Lego uh, block. You go back into your iTunes, open up your iTunes, hold down your Shift key on your keyboard or on your Mac. You can hold down your I think it's your Alt key on your Mac. Hit or command key, sorry, on your Mac. Uh, hold it down, press, click on restore. Okay, and then that's how it brings up the screen, the uh, screen here, and allows you to choose the file that we just downloaded from the one, two, three, my IT website. And here it is. Here's the iPhone 7.0.2. I'm going to open it. All right, and then you can just go ahead and restore it. Now, obviously, we've already restored it. I'm not going to do it this time. But that's how essentially how I've had to upgrade uh, from iOS uh, 6.1 uh, jailbroken phone to iOS 7.0.2. Alright guys, so thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful. If it was helpful, please leave a thumbs up and share the video. Don't forget to sub subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave some feedback on the website. Cheers guys. Bye bye.